Well, say hello to the bad guy. Remember, in Scarface, 1983, I believe, and Tony Montana was in that restaurant, and all these self-righteous people looking at him, he's a criminal, and of course they are law-abiding citizens who never do anything wrong. No, they may not be drug dealers or murderers. They may not be like Tony Montana, but they are not holy and righteous. And Tony tells them as he leaves the restaurant, say hello, say hello to the bad guy. I'm Angel Snubbin' Up 7. Of course, this is what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Say hello to the bad guy. Angel Snubbin' Up 7 is the bad guy. Why is Angel Snubbin' Up 7 the bad guy? I'm the bad guy because I come on social media. And I challenge those of whom I say are not bringing us the truth. I challenge those who are not bringing us reality. But I thought that's what it was all about. It's all about the truth. I thought that those of whom bring the truth are the good guys and those who tell lies and deceive I was told they are the bad guy but clearly when you attempt to bring the truth when you attempt to bring reality you turn out to truly be the bad guy We have been conditioned to love lies and call the lies the truth. We call half-truths lies. I mean, truth. We call deception and fantasy and fairy tales outside of what we know, of what we know. We call that reality. It is not. It all begins, and I know I have posted this picture of those who have died, those who were lost in this horrific action known as the Buffalo, New York mass murder shooting. And these are a few of those of whom have transitioned prematurely because of that horrific act. And I want to say, and what makes me a bad guy, what makes me evil, is that I ask the question, or I raise or bring to us the conclusion or the observation simply because you cannot show other. God continues to fail black people. God continues to fail humanity, period. But I'm talking to us, the Eidos, the so-called or once-called Negro in America, the African-American, the comedic Hebrew Israelite, whatever you want to call yourself, I'm talking to us. Because we put our faith in this God regardless to the name, Allah, Jesus, Yahshua, Yahweh, the Most High, the spiritual realm, the supreme being, whatever. We put our faith in such belief and it continues to fail us. It begins in childhood. We are taught 
we are taught about God. We are taught about the supreme being, the higher power. We are taught. We never see. We never actually see. We are just taught to believe in this. We never actually experienced this. And then we have lucky breaks. Maybe we should have died in a car accident or maybe we should have died from a drug overdose and we didn't die and we give credit to the supreme being and, and, and whatever. There's no evidence that a supreme being done a damn thing for us, but that's what we taught as children to believe. And then our minds, even prior to that, is bombarded with fairy tales, children's stories, bedtime stories. Most of these stories that we are taught as children, they are fantasy and fiction and animals are talking and bees are talking and goats are talking and snakes are talking. When you graduate to the Bible, snakes talk and Demons and spirits and <laughs> our mind. And then we watch cartoons. Donald Duck, Popeye the Sailor, Superman, Batman and Robin. And we watch soap operas. The tell the tell live vision is filled with fairy tales. And most of these stories and things that we are exposed to are not real. They never actually happen. These TV stories, these books, that y'all love to read books. And then a lot of this history that we read, a lot of it is fabricated. It was not real. It's not real history. It was, it's fabrication. Pieces was taken in, pieces taken out. And our minds from children, we are exposed to talking mice and cats and rats that do what people do. We want to go to Disneyland and all this kind of stuff. And our minds is full, filled up with fantasy and fiction, fairy tales. It is not real. Why would we as real beings, as flesh and blood, why would we want to fill our minds with that which is not real? But that's how we have been conditioned, not only black people in America, but this is the conditioning of the human being for centuries. Regardless, you can live in Asia, you can live in India, wherever it is found in the world, the human beings' minds have been destroyed with illusion and fantasy and fiction, fairy tales, that which is not real. We justify telling our children lies. We justify telling our children lies because they need something to believe in. Well, we got to, uh, I'm going to tell these children these fake ass stories like Santa Claus. Now, y'all don't mind me talking about Santa Claus because many of you, you agree with me about Santa Claus. You know, So I can talk about Santa Claus, but all this stuff is a form of, of Santa Claus. It's a form of Santa Claus. We begin with Santa Claus and we tell our children about Santa Claus and we know it's a lie. We know it's a lie. And you was taught about Santa Claus and you know it was a lie and then you pass the lie down to your children and you and your family, your mama, your daddy and grandpa, all of you become a family of liars. Bunch of deceivers, lies to children. You should be ashamed of yourself. All of us as adults, we should be ashamed of ourselves when we lie to children. You're a bunch of liars. You should be ashamed of yourself. As soon as you found out that it was a lie, why would you want to pass down that lie to your children? Children depend on their parents for reality. Children depend on their parents for what is in their best interest and telling them about Santa Claus is not in their best interest. It's a lie. Telling lies to your children, you should be shaming yourself. And so, how does it feel when you know you have been lied to? 
and you're going to do this to you. How did you feel when you found out yourself that Santa Claus was not real? The Easter Bunny is not real and all this stuff. You felt sort of bad and you felt you felt a certain kind of way. And you turn around and do the same thing to your children. The parent's responsibility is, is to do what is in the best interest of their children. And telling lies to children is not in the child's best interest. So our minds, since children, has been bombarded with fantasy and fiction and cartoons and lies. So it's easy as we grow up and then we are given this teaching, these beliefs about God and spirits and r spiritual realms and demons. And so it's easy to cross over from the childish fantasy to adult fantasy. Yahweh and Jesus and Allah replace Santa Claus. <laughs> Woo! Yahweh, the supreme being, Allah, replace Santa Claus. But now for some reason, that's real. Santa Claus is not real. But your Yahweh and, and your Allah and your most high supreme beings and these gods and demons and gremlins and all this spookism that we believe in, it's real. But Santa Claus is not. You cannot show that Santa Claus brought nobody any kind of gifts or did anything for anybody at any time, nor can you show that your Allah, your supreme being, your uh, Yashara or whatever God it is, has done anything for anybody at any time. It's lies. So Angel Snub Number Seven is the bad guy. It's 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 I'm the bad guy because. I'm going to be an adult. I know it's a lie. I know all this stuff is a, a lie. And you still want to continue to have a childish mentality. And see, the only reason why the child accepted it, because it's, it's babies. They don't know any better. You are an adult. So if you are an adult, why do you believe in these things? It is because you force your brain to believe in these things. Even if your father or mother or any adult did not teach you there's no such thing as Santa Claus, you would have eventually grown out of it because of your adult mind. Your adult brain would tell you ain't no such thing. That was a game. That was that was something that was something fun to do to believe in when you was a child. Your adult brain would tell you that. The reason why you believe in Allah and Jesus, the supreme being, the most high and spiritual realms and all this kind of stuff is because you force your brain to accept fairy tales and fantasy and fiction lies as reality. And so, of course, many of you would tell me, Negro, please, I have experienced these things in real time. No, what you have experienced is. You have forced your brain to believe in lies and your brain makes images for you just like if you, like these poor brothers and sisters here who have died, there are going to be people who claim they dreamed about them, actually saw them, even went to visit them. They came to, your brain will create and make these images and these experiences for you. Yes, that is real. Only for you. I will not see that. And nobody around you will experience that. Your brain will only make these images because you have programmed and forced your brain to accept such things. And that's because that's what you want. So it is real. It is real. Only for you. Not for me or anyone else on the outside. So your experience is real. I'm never telling you. Also, the experience by drug addicts and dope fiends, 
their hallucinations and things are real only to them. It's the same thing. We have forced our brain to accept fiction and fantasy as reality. In my conclusion, I want to say this. You have a boss and you ask your boss for a raise because you like your boss. Oh, I like I like Jim. Jim is so nice. You don't know whether Jim will give you a raise or not. My question is, you have a family to feed. Plus, you have earned a raise. Even though you really, really like Jim. I like Jim. I, his, his wife is good. I, I, I just love Jim. Like you love God. Like you love God. The question I raise is, how long are you going to wait on Jim to give you a raise? How long are you going to wait on Jim to give you a raise so your life can be better? Sooner or later, those who have sense, they're going to look for another job. I like Jim, but he don't want to give me a raise. I know I deserve it. I got to leave Jim. And you go out and you begin to look in the want ads and you find a, another job that pay you the money that you're worth so that you can feed your family so that you can do better. We are not doing better. Believing in God. When God continues to fail, the supreme being, Yahweh, Yashara, the, 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 the most high, whatever you want to call him. We continue to pray and believe and foam at the mouth. We sing and we dance for God. And God does nothing. You give God unearned credit the same way that you gave Santa Claus credit for bringing gifts. And you know Santa Claus didn't bring nothing. You make excuses for God's failure because God does not exist. Deep down in your heart, you know this. But it goes all the way back to when we was children. You got to have something to believe in. Why? Why do the child have to have something to believe in? And if the child has to have something to believe in, why can't that child believe in something that's real? Why can't that child believe in their parents? Why can't that child believe in themselves? So we sit around and Angel Snub Nub 7 is the bad guy because I'm out here telling us the truth. Again, it's like waiting on that raise so your life can be better. Our life is not being better and have not gotten better waiting on God. Waiting on to go to the to these other realms and all this spookism that we believe in. God continues to fail. If that's what you want to do, then so be it. But at the same time, there are many who are already thinking the way that I'm thinking. That I know we are adults and we should act like adults. And even your Bible say, when you was a child, you spoke like a child. But now that you are an adult, you put away childish things. And your brain would put away Santa Claus. And now your brain needs to put these things away so that you can grow up, so that you can improve your life and you can do better. We will continue to cry. We will continue to be disappointed. As long as we believe in God over our brain, over ourselves. I don't mind being the bad guy. Jot down your comments. Let's talk about it.